Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a great and wonderful day. And what we have here is, um, the Dalton mayor going again. Yes, the super mayor, Tiffany A. Hanyard, really is going off and being a diabolical villain, as she always is. She is probably one of the most corrupt mayors, if not the most corrupt mayor in, well, in the country. And we're pro, we're gonna go over it. So, this person here has, um, having some problems with the, uh, ticketing thing, right? Where, 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 she doesn't seem to be, uh, they kind of encroach on her plans of being, setting, setting up an event at the same time that she is, and she wants to get revenge on it, right? Like, this is kind of what's going on here. So, without further ado, here, here's the actual clip of, you know, her being a psychopath. I have four tickets issued from the village of Dalton, and each ticket is $500 a piece. That is $2,000 worth of tickets that I have here. Dalton Park District President Cleo Jones says they were stunned last week when... So, essentially, the uh, the Dalton mayor, Tiffany A. Hanyard, has, uh, you know, put out a, a notice, uh, pretty much uh, get, finding him or putting out a citation for $500 each, reaching up to 2000 and that is what's going on. Now, before I get further into this, and it gets worse, which is always worse with Tiffany A. Hanyard, is that... This was happening almost more than a full year before this was even coming forth. So back in August 14th of 2023, um, she was also going after another park thing because uh, another event that was called the Auto Adult Car Show, and it was pretty much blocked by. Um, was she blocked the driveways, required permits, and part district, and now there's even a legal action, which we'll get into that later, but that's what's going on with the TVA Hanger type of situation, right? And she's been doing this for a while now. This is a constant ongoing thing with this woman, and it's quite interesting on how this is always going on with this woman. She's always coming after, she says she's for the community, but when she says she's going for the community, she's always backstabbing or attacking the community. And this is with uh, Tiffany A. Hanger also, pretty much also, um, starting a event at the same time that the Dalton Park show went out, that, that the Dalton Park show that started. And due to that, she didn't like that. She thought that was cruel and evil. So now she's all like, now you're going to get a citation and block, block it to where you can even allow this to happen. We're, we're not going to allow you to do this. How dare you go against me and uh, now uh, do the same event, at, do another event at the same time that I'm doing it. It's quite asinine. We're getting some guesses about that, Anthony. So on Saturday, this uh, parking lot at Needles Park here in Dalton was supposed to be full of cars and people for a popular annual car show. But take a look at what happened. The city shut it down, placing huge concrete barricades in front of the entrance. Still a couple back there in what the park district is calling an act of revenge by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. So essentially, they were blocking this guy's place because of the mere fact that it's Tiffany A. Hanyard was, you know, you abusing her power again. Again, what you go go on to further show that this person is bad. She's caught. You see, in the letter of this video, you're going to see that Tiffany A. Hanyard, um, when this guy already pre-purchased and got this permit for actually holding his event there at the same time that Tiffany A. Hanger was, um, she was pretty much being, he was, he was brought, uh, reached out, mind you, reached out, my apologies, reached out to, uh, by the Tiffany A. Hanger staff or what have you, and we're telling him why, to move my event to the Tiffany A. Hanger, uh, place, uh, because, well, you're housing the same event at the same time, and he figured that as a th threat. He figured that as a you know uh, as an issue, and I don't really blame him. Blame him because I think it was also considered somewhat of a threat. We had our permit, we had our insurance, everything that Dalton Park District asked for. That's Darren Bosley. He's been running the annual car show in Needles Park for eight years now. But when he showed up Saturday morning, he found that the Dalton Police Department had placed huge concrete blocks to barricade the entrances to the parking lot where that show was going to be held. 
Bosley said he started getting phone calls in the middle of the week from the chief assistant to Dalton Mayor Tiffany Hanyard, telling him that they wanted Bosley to move the car show location closer to an outdoor music event that Hanyard was holding at the same time. He says he refused because he already had his permit from the park district, which has the authority over park property, not the mayor or the village. And what the thing is, is that this guy is being threatened by Tiffany A. Hanger. That's just the reality of it all. And even though he got the permit from the park that he can be allowed to do this, um, Tiffany A. Hanger still goes out and, and was threatened that if he does that his entire event will be shut down unless he moves his, his he moves his event to Greenwood where her event is at. This is the way of Tiffany A. Hanyard here, ladies and gentlemen, where he is going out and doing this type of thing. It's kind of insane to me and in how we have this mayor still in power. I don't see how that's remotely possible. Uh, after all the things that she's done, it really baffles the mind on how she can still remain in power. And guys... If you think this is the end of all the atrocity and the stupidity, you're sadly mistaken. It still gets worse. I got a phone call on Wednesday um, saying that the show would be shut down, but if I move my event to her location on Greenwood, that I would be fine. Did you take that as a threat? Yes, I took that as bullying. We had people with the cars. The, 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 the vengeance cars were showing up. They couldn't get in. The police was instructing them, no, you cannot come in here. If you come in here, you'll be subject to your, your car towed. And they so, had no authority to do that. No authority whatsoever. Yeah, so she would even have the guys' people's cars being towed and all that. And, she, and as I said, the guy deems it as a threat. Now, let's move to actual modern day, or present day to be exact, to where uh, she's doing it yet again. Except this time, it seems the kids are affected by this, not the anybody else. Even though, despite the kids not being affected, which is still a, you know, a horrible atrocity, uh, we have the, the people who have to suffer from this. There's just like no low to where this woman can go. And this is kind of what happens when you have a woman that was arrested and a criminal, um, you know, being in power, where they end up abusing it. They receive citations for doing work without a permit. He says two of the tickets were issued for spreading fresh mulch on district playgrounds. So every year we replenish the mulch in the park to ensure that the safety of the kids, the kids are playing on a safe surface by playing on some healthy mulch. And we do this every year. Have they ever asked for a permit before? Never. Never in a million years. The other two tickets appear to be for replacing old playground equipment with brand new equipment. Mari. So yeah, now she again is going after in 2024, uh, again against the park uh, for kids to, you know, redo the mulch to make sure it's safe for kids so, you know, they don't hurt themselves and redo the equipment. That so you know kids can you safely go up go up and down in this stuff you know I used to do this stuff as a kid and it was very nice to do have it available, but of course the mayor gets in the way and uh, ruins all that. She decides to think not think of the kids but for herself just because it's another act of revenge because the kids have to suffer for your criminality. Uh, that uh, really is astonishing. And by the way, she they never needed a permit for this to begin with. And she's still violating uh, something uh, something along those lines to where, uh, the, to where, or no, not violating, but changing things, right? She's changing things on that was never there before. It's, it's quite insane. Jones believes the Park District, a separate unit of government, is being targeted by controversial Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who's currently at the center of an FBI corruption investigation. So this is obviously all afterwards of all the things that Tiffany Henyard has done, where she yeah, put a price on somebody's head. No, not put a price, but went to go essentially kill someone because, you know, she got anger at them. She was also another person that went that, uh, you know, raises, rages at her critics, uh, tries to uh, uh, always playing the victim. Uh, uh, it, it shuts down bars. Uh, she's on, obviously under an FBI investigation. And she, 
uh, get steal cars funds, taxpayer money, uh, charity fraud, uh, rigging her own election, uh, stealing, etc., etc. And it seems that she is a it's just a non-stop of a huge amount of crimes that this woman is per perpetrating here. And she is in power and doing all this, and she doesn't seem to stop. She seems to keep on ongoing here, and they need to crack down on her immediately, because if they don't, I don't think there's any much left for safety for the Dalton people. I think after all this is done... She'll really go after them, and I mean in a very horrible and terrible way. Sets. They say Henyard is holding up $600,000 in grants for the Park District. One from Blue Cross Blue Shield, the other from the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. By refusing to issue permits for the work. As we have gone to the village for permitting and they have been unresponsive. Um, I have a project manager that is working on that and they just refuse to give us the permits. And Dalton Park District Director Stephanie Wiedemann says if they don't get the permits in the next few weeks, the $400,000 grant to overhaul Blackstone Park with a new walking path and gazebo will expire, and taxpayers will have to eat $150,000 in money that's already been spent for the park's design. So yeah, they, she is refusing to give the park, uh, which is a separate uh, part of the government, uh, to refuse them, refusing to give them the permits. Which, by the way, is illegal and they cannot do, but that's what they're doing. They're refusing to give the permits. And there is $150,000 on the line of taxpayer money, and she is refusing to give them the permits. Um, that's quite in crazy here, and including not only that, there's also grants, and which is the big money, which is illegal, to the hundred and fifty thousand plus dollars, and stuff like that to to actually reform and make the park better, safer, which is the big thing is, and of course, Tiffy Ang Hayner can't stop her corruption, can't stop her cruelty, can't stop the the hatred towards also the kids and the revenge because she's petty. Because she just wants the revenge, she just wants it, and now they they're in a they have a problem here, and it was going, and it will be refused. They won't be able to actually fix the problem because it will be, it will have run out. The window would have been gone. Community upgrading the playgrounds. Why? Why are we receiving citations for doing upgrades to our playgrounds in Dalton? Dane Placco. Yes. So Tiffany A. Hanyard is the super mayor is angry. She wants revenge. So what she's going to do is block the actual income and, you know, not allow the permits to be to this place and uh, issue cite $2,000 citations for wanting to upgrade the said park. And this is all due to her being petty, all due to her being angry about the about a year ago of this of the park setting up an event at the same time that she was doing her music festival festival like a year ago and this is what leads to this there's one thing that she keeps that she says that she cares about the community she loves the community there are, her administration is doing everything for her but it's just not the case y'all are black and y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power y'all should be ashamed of yourselves all the stuff that y'all did to get people to come to our community, to just diss and down our community. Shame on y'all. Everything we do, we do for the people. But we under attack. We getting scrutinized in the media. For what? Loving on the people? Showing them that they matter to us? We going through the fires for y'all. We. Us. Me and my administration. So don't y'all ever talk to them like that. Don't y'all ever tell them that they was told what to say. Because they don't. They got mad of themselves. And they all educated up here. All of them got degrees. So yeah, Tiffany A. Hanger, I don't know what you're talking about. You're saying you're for the people, but whenever the people criticize you or go after you or, you know, anything of the sort, you go after them. You try to ruin their lives. You try to destroy them. You even do attempted murder. Because of what they said, or what they said, or what they said about you. That's what you do. That's your game. 
and I don't think that is the correct way to go about it. But call me an insane person, but I don't think that's the correct way to go about it. Not only that, the city is also under a lawsuit with you. They are not happy with you. They want you gone. So I don't know about that. The people are speaking up about this, and I think it's time for you to face the great music. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, guys, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted because it's algorithmic disease, the social media.